That would have ruined my day. Let's grab our scans and port out of here. Yeah, but I doubt I'd ever use a scan at this place in a battle. Never say never. Even locations you wouldn't usually put in your battle deck can give you an advantage, if you use them at the right time. Ready? Help! Huh? Help! Who am I happy to see you? Help me! That's Zerv. He hangs out at the storm tunnel. It makes him a little... We're in a hurry, Zerv. What's your problem? I'm trapped! I was lured here by one of your kind, a female. Then she drew this magic circle around me! Probably lipstick. It's a trick, Zerv. Just walk out! She said I'll lose all my powers if I do! She's wicked! She's already used her magic on my toe wig! It doesn't work! No Battle Gear works here at the Iron Pillar. Everybody knows that. I didn't know that. She's going to turn me over to an Underworlder. I'll do anything. Just use your human magic to free me. Let's go down, say Abracadabra, and send him on his way. Okay, Zerv, we'll set you free. But you gotta let us scan you and your Torweg, okay? Yes, just hurry. She'll be back any moment. He's up there. I kept my part of the deal. Now you keep yours. The deal's off. What? <laughs> oh, those two little geeks ruined my plan. I'll fix them somehow. We were all newbies once, you know. I could check out your deck if you like. I don't know. Maybe I... <gasps> Tell you if you're ready to go up against the big boys. And girls. <laughs> okay. Now let's see. Uh-oh. You're gonna need some serious additions to your deck if you want to cut it here in Chaotic. Really? Because back home, I'm... This isn't home. Listen, you look like a good guy, and I've got some extra cards. Just put your scanner in trade mode and let me do the rest. Hey! What? Your friend here is trying to jack your deck. In a few minutes, he'd have all your cards transferred to his scanner. Hmm. Why don't you mind your own business? Why don't you stop scamming new players? I'll show you who the player is, Major Wimp. <laughs> I have a match in the Krellindrome in an hour. And now it's with you. You got it. You can beat him. All you need is a strategy. I know that, Kaz, but what strategy? Look, Clay almost always uses Underworlders. He'll probably blam away at you with fire attacks. Then I'll use locations that work against him, like Glacier Plains and Doors of the Deep Mines. And I can use my water creatures in the Riverlands. Thunder and Crisectus will come through for me, guaranteed. And I'll definitely put Maxor up front. 
He's my go-to guy. Hey, that scan you got of the Riverlands, downstream from the Corrin Rapids? There's a big rock there that looks sort of like a skull. And just beyond it, there's this waterfall. And behind that, there's a little cave. If you go inside, you can see through the waterfall. Totally perfect spot for a sneak attack. Cool. But what battle gear should I use? And what music? Don't worry. We're going to plan it all out right now. If someone's dumb enough to have his deck jacked, he deserves what he gets. Or what he loses. Thanks for the words of wisdom. Now get out of my way or I'll... What would you say if I told you I have information that could help you demolish a certain major whip? I'd say... I'm all ears. This drone match is a player challenge match. Cleonic has challenged Major Tom. Please assemble your battle teams. Lock your decks. Good luck, bro. And stick to the plan. Thanks. I will. Yes! I knew it! Clay picked all Underworlders. They think they've got it all figured out. They don't know who they're dealing with. Chaotic, you consistently display conduct on becoming a chaotic player. Major Tom will be the first attacker. Whatever. The first battle will be at the Riverlands. I've got to get rid of Barris Beyond right away. Maxor attacks Barris Beyond. <laughs> Let's get chaotic! Joke. Good attack. Don't worry. I wouldn't be surprised if your friend came back and beat Barrett. In fact, I'd be shocked if he didn't. Huh? I can't lose Maxo this fast. Better use music. Song of Resurgence. <laughs> Very clever, but I have a few tricks too. Barrett is powerful. I'd better use Song of Future Sight. <laughs> a little firewood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Major 
Tom wins the first battle. Make your move, Major Tom. Your turn, Cleotic. The Lava Pond. Fire attacks are a lot stronger at the Lava Pond. Clay definitely won't attack one of Tom's fire creatures. I choose Miklon to attack Maxel. Huh? That's weird. Major Tom wins again. Maxor attacks! Ghoul! Perithion attacks Maxor! Maxor attacks Kugar! <laughs> Something's not right. You are down to your last creature, Clayotic. Choose your location. The Lava Pond. Magmon attacks Maxel. Good luck! <laughs> Clay doesn't get it. I already won here twice today. But not against Magmon! <laughs> Magmon's fire attacks are stronger at the lava pond. Or didn't you know that? Flame Ah, there's no place like home. Iron Balls! How quickly things can turn around in this game. Lava Lunch! using music. Here comes another music. Cannon of Casualty! You have one creature left. I still have five. Not for long. Major Tom, it is your attack. Back to the Riverlands. Crossectus attacks Magmine. That hidden cave cast told me about is right around here. I'll surprise Clay and end this thing. Yes, Clay won't know what hit him. All I have to do now is wait. Looking for me? How do you know about the cave? <laughs> Take your best shot, shrimp. All right. Frost blind! The lava pond? How'd we get back here? Oh, I just used a tricky little piece of battle gear. A flux bobble. With this, I can change the battle location to the next card in my deck, which happened to be the Lava Pond because they're all the Lava Pond! My water attacks! All your creatures use water attacks. Very ineffective here. So I'll just keep fluxing us back to the good old Lava Pond for every battle until I win the match! Ah! Magmon attacks oh. Thunder! At the Lava Pond. Vida of 
attacks Magmon at Glacier Plains. Until we flux to the lava ponds. Clay's playing this perfectly. The flux bobble, the lava pond. But he'd never risk stacking his deck that way unless... Unless he knew your friend was going to use the water attack creatures. Which he did. Because I told him your whole strategy. Oh. Maybe the next time you decide to be the big hero to some poor unfortunate overworlder, you'll mind your own business. Zerv, the Iron Pillar? You were the one who tricked him! You only have two creatures left and they only do water attacks! They don't cut it here, and I'll flux us right back to the lava pond for the next battle. You can't win. Just give up. I can't give up, but how can I win? Set up your deck. Too bad you don't get do-overs. That's it. My music. Reprise. What are you gonna do? Bring back your diminuendo? That won't stop me this time. Song of Future Sight. wins the battle. Each player has one creature remaining. Why'd you bring back your song of future sight, Tommy boy? So you can see that you're gonna lose? Not exactly. You can use song of future sight to find out what attack your opponent's gonna use. But you can also use it to reorder your location deck. So you can lock in your next two locations. Correct, Major Tom. Your location deck is unlocked. What a waste of time. Your attack, Major Tom. Iron Pillar. Mesmar attacks Magma! <laughs> One tiny little flaw in your strategy. I just have to flux us back to the lava pond and you're finished. Give it a shot. One tiny little flaw in your strategy. Battle gear doesn't work in Iron Pillar, but this does. Riptide! <laughs> Clever, but your stunt won't save you. Lava match! <laughs> against you. That's not cheating, that's strategy. Major Tom is the winner. <laughs> nice going, bro. Thanks. But it was close. The way he was playing, it was like... He knew what you were gonna do? Yeah. She bugged us when we were setting up your strategy and blabbed it to Clay. Her name's Christella. She was the one who tricked Zerv. 
She's just as nasty as Clay is. That means trouble. Especially for us. Nice work. Not. Ah, get over it. It's just a temporary setback. We were close. Close isn't good enough. I want to destroy those two. Clay. I think this is the beginning of a perfectly nasty friendship. Oh.